Hi, my name is Janicel Hardinero and I am from Philippines. I studied Continuing Care Assistant at Oxford International of Halifax and this is my journey. What I like most about studying and living in Halifax is um, the vibrant community, beautiful surroundings, and the numerous opportunities for out outdoor activities. So the city has a welcoming atmosphere and there are always events and festivals happening throughout the year. Um, the biggest challenge when when studying abroad is uh, adjusting to a new environment. It can be challenging to navigate unfamiliar surroundings and establish a support network, but with the time and effort, it becomes more manageable. In my experience, it was uh, relatively easy to make friends at Oxford International. The institution provides various opportunities for socializing, events, and study groups, which can help facilitate the process of meeting new people. Canada Day, we used to celebrate here, like in class, uh, Halloween, uh, Oxford International, like uh, they make a way for you, not, in, not for you to get homesick, instead of like, um, you're um you're having fun with all your friends and classmates the application process for securing my visa um i had to gather all necessary do documents including the letter of acceptance from the institution um proof of funds and valid and valid passport i then submitted my application through the appropriate channels and the visa was approved. For the visa was approved, uh, the the channels will um, email you if they if you need to to do the um, biometrics. And then after that, they will ask you for our recommendations for a medical. And after when you pass the medical, that's the time they're going to approve or you were refused. And if you were approved. Um, they were giving you, it, uh, it's up to them, but that it depends on your program, on how many months or years are you going to to take. So they're going to give you a two years, two years um, visa. So when we, when we arrive at the port of entry in Canada, that's the time we're going to, they're going to give our permit, permit to study and permit to work. Now, um, I am currently, I'm in the final stages of my CCA journey. So I have completed all course work, gained valuable experience through placements, and I'm awaiting the CCA examination. And I am now actively employed as a continuing care assistant in training, and I'm excited to embark on the next chapter of my career.